like I was saying, I've always wanted to hide poison in like a treat and and kill an animal. Mm -hmm. That like a bad guy animal, not just any. I don't want to hurt animals. I'm saying a threat, brother. I'm so close to going on the dark web and looking up cyanide sausages. <laughs> uh, you could probably just. What would be really fatal to a dog if you hit it in a treat? Peanut butter on my dick. <laughs> And then we hide that inside of a snossage? <laughs> yeah. Listen, uh, my plan is the snossage and the, my urethra. <laughs> Peanut butter all over the my- tiny derringer <laughs> sticking out of your meat is, ha, 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 gotcha, bitch. <laughs> yeah, man, plans are in motion. So I got a very, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you for being patient with us. We're rocking and rolling. This is my bad, by the way. I, I Not a bad, though. No, I, I fucked up scheduling. I got some stuff wrong. It's my fault that we're an hour late. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I'm, I'm not perfect, it turns out. But here's the deal. I got a bad pit bull running wild in my neighborhood. It's killed another dog. This what kind of dog did it kill? A little baby white dog. And the owner is the nicest fucking guy in the world. All he cares about is this fucking dog. The dog's name is Bingo. God rest your soul. Oh, Bingo. happy birthday in heaven, Bingo. He Bingo was his name -o. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Say his name <laughs> Bingo, dude. We hold <laughs> All right, go ahead and say it louder for the people in the back. But yeah, bark lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a really bad pit bull running wild in my neighborhood. It killed a fucking tiny ass sweet dog named Bingo. It's a mostly peaceful pit bull. Yes, it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he attacked a child last week at the goddamn park at the end of my street. What kind of child was it? <laughs> uh, one that we care about. Oh, yeah. a good one? Yeah, one of the good ones. No. Yep. You're supposed to be securing a future for that child, not no. letting dogs bite his face. He bit a goddamn kid and what killed a goddamn hell, dog, man. Dude, I might fucking pull your colors. <laughs> You'll take care of this this menace. I'm on it, <laughs> and so is Aunt Nancy. Oh no, Aunt Nancy's a she. I think I could see her getting into some slingshots or something, brother. She's got that thing on her. Yeah, I called her last is she night. Carrying a gun now? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Tim's Aunt Nancy is my neighbor now, and she was commenting on this story in my neighborhood Facebook group, and she seemed like she had the skinny on what was going on, so I called her up. I was like, Aunt Nancy, what is going on? She told me all about it. It's a uh, bad dog from a biker family. Wrong side of the tracks. Yeah. And uh, Now, what kind of biker family? <laughs> <laughs> we talking Harleys, or are we talking Hayabusa's? What's a high? Oh, no, no, Harley. Oh, okay, Harley. okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there's a, the whole neighborhood's on watch. Like, the family confronted one of Nancy's neighbors because he's out front with a bat now. What family? Keeping patrol. The family who owns the pit bull. The biker family. Yep. Said, put that bat down. Let my dog eat you. Yeah, well, the, the guy, the biker came to the bat guy's house and said, my daughter said, you're going to bash my dog's head in. He's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So now he's got that thing on him, and Nancy's got that thing well, the on him. Well, so how did this resolve? What did the biker go like, you better not? I don't know. I didn't question Ooh, any further. I bet you that's extremely spicy. It is going to be a there. big deal, man. But Ooh, I can't wait for this. Oh, buddy. it's, it's You better be bad. documenting as much as you can, man. Yeah, well, you, this is your play this podcast. They're gonna, the, the jury's going to hear you say Bingo was his name-o in court. I hope that's admissible. <laughs> I, hope, I mean, where's the lie? <laughs> Damn, dude. So uh, the reason that this is so huge is that uh, instantly your carrying of a dog knife is fully justified. It always forever. has been in my eyes. I know I seem like a psychopath when I mention it, <laughs> but this is why I carry a fucking dog knife. I'm not looking for dogs to kill. I just don't want dogs who kill lesser dogs who kill potentially kill children. Now, how, how's this dog? Is he off leash? Is he on leash? He and... gets out of his yard because they're just... Bad white people that don't know how to care for dogs that have very dangerous dogs. Now, are you thinking about putting yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time? You know what I mean? Sent a little trap. Yeah. A little Bugs like, Bunny dressed as a girl trap. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm a fucking infant in a stroller. What am I going to wear? I'll push you around. I'll dress like up a. <laughs> I'll like put a, a bonnet bomb. on. You'll dress like a baby. <laughs> I'll put you in a stroller. I'll be like, oh, man, I hope no one eats my child's face. And I'll go, oh. And it'll come, and then you'll go, not today. Hi -ya! Buddy, this is Call the so, vet, this but is, not for me. <laughs> Tim, this is weighing so heavily on my mind. I was having dreams about this last night. Of course. You've got a, you've got a blood vendetta. Mm -hmm. You're defending your, your own, your, your wife and children. And yeah. 
God forbid your cats. I know. That's all I think about are my fucking cats that I didn't want. And now I, I couldn't live without. David, we need your input here, brother. I got yeah. a bad pit bull on the loose in my neighborhood. Get in. You said you got a bad pit bull on the loose? Yeah. Oh. He's already killed a neighborhood dog, sweet as can be. Bingo was his name-o. <laughs> Same and, name-o. <laughs> and he's also bitten a child at the park. Now, how bad did he bite? The- yeah. The police said they couldn't do anything, so they just fined the owner. He only did $500 worth of damage to the child, so technically they can't <laughs> file a criminal. Yeah, the urgent care doctor was like, parts and labor. I mean, we're, we're looking at maybe 253 max. <laughs> I mean, we can repair him with some Build-A-Bear parts. That'll save you some money off the top. But it's insane to me that they can't just kill this fucking thing once it attacks. Um, Is it like a we got to see it happen type thing? It sounds like, well, I, I don't know. Be- or because- does the statute of limitations pass in dog years? <laughs> Because then two weeks becomes like, I don't know, so wait, 16 so, months. So it's killed a dog. Mm-hmm. Smaller dog. Then it bit a child. Yeah. Smaller child. White, by the so way. The, why is it the size of the thing that it's I'm, attacked? I'm, I want all the information available to us so that we can design a solution. You sound like a, a pit bull defense attorney right now. I know, but that's only because <laughs> I want to be so sure that we're doing it right that no one can uh-huh. question us. Okay. When the cops get here, we go, here's my permit. This is my ID. Yes, I killed him. I've emptied the clip. There's the gun. Um, uh, you know, check my documents. My hands are behind my back, officer. Because uh-huh. I like to be a good boy when the cops show up. When the cops show up and they say, like, yo, get out of your car. Yeah. We don't need to give you a reason. I go, all right, man, I'll just behave well, myself. Also, you know, you, you got to be careful about killing the wrong pit bull. Go on. Yeah, you got to get the right one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cuz you know, mistaken it, identity. You know, from my perspective, you know, the first thing I think of, you know, any n-word will do policy. Mm. That sure. Some people take. So, you know, it could be any pit bull will do. Ooh, now that's a great point he brings yeah. up. What if this family was making up the attack to get the pit bull hurt, mm. you know? But people have seen it. I mean, I could get I could get witnesses. I could say David James. Are you calling yeah. your aunt a liar? I could say David James raped me, and then get a couple of witnesses to run him out of town. Yeah, He's I don't. This is what he's talking. I, I would I would argue in his defense. Well, that's the point. We need to be. This needs to be cut and dry. And then also on top of that, mm-hmm. the dog's family are all like biker dickheads. Yeah. And you live where my uncle Dennis was a cop mm-hmm. who was killed by a biker during a domestic dispute. He showed up, knocked on the door. Uh-huh. Said, hey, stop hitting your wife. And the guy said, oh, okay, I will. So that's the type of people that you're dealing with. Now, let me ask you this before we go any further. You think it's fair to say that if you're a dog attorney, you would be a jumped over defense attorney? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Danny, where's that sound bite that we're working on? <laughs> Man, we got hey, something. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'd handle litter, handle litter law in family, dog family court. <laughs> so does this thing just walk around the neighborhood still? He runs wild. I haven't seen him yet. Yeah. But it's all the talk on my fucking Facebook page. Yeah. And he fucking, it, it's within the it, past two weeks. Well, if he's just running around unaccompanied, why don't just someone just murder it when it's out there? Well, he said uh, neighbors are posting up with weapons now out on the street, just like a baseball bat, like waiting for this guy. Yeah. But then the family comes around and they go, yo, I heard you're waiting for my dog to come around so you can bash his brains in. So now you're being intimidated by a fat, illiterate biker who's probably inbred. Yeah. You know what I mean? Doesn't yeah. know his fucking dick from his ass and he's looking for a reason to hurt somebody. And yeah. here's another wrinkle to the story that, uh, mm-hmm. that Aunt Nancy informed me of. This, the, the patriarch of the family may be associated with a biker gang. Probably Warlock. Other ones. Pagan? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Mike was afraid to say it. I'm not. I'm fearless. <laughs> Only thing I know is Sons of Anarchy. And I'm, I'll, that's dude, fictional. I'll kill the dogs yeah. of every pagan motorcycle club <laughs> member. <laughs> Danny yeah. said he's going to cut the feed. <laughs> yeah, this is Sons of Ban- Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I almost got there. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> maybe, maybe this dog should just kill me. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll be a sacrifice to this fucking hellhound. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Are you thinking about taking like a a battered men's dog self defense course? I should get one of those suits. What if we all like a bunch of like the dudes in the neighborhood's got a bunch of those self defense suits and just roamed around like guardian? You angels? become dog proof. Yeah, I'd be for that. I, but I'm saying my plan was that we were gonna have Mike pose as a toddler and a stroller, yeah. and I was gonna be the mom, and we were gonna try to lure the dog out to bite his face off, and he'll stab it when it gets close. Nice. 
I'm going to put peanut butter all over my face and my dick. (laughs) Just in case. Yeah, actually, if you just get enough kids, like, having fun at the playground, he'll probably just show up. It's like Jaws. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I I feel like fucking, what's his name, Quint. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you finally yeah. kill this dog and you string him upside down and all the fucking license plates and car tires fall out of his mouth. Dog, this is pause. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the cocker spaniel bones just... <laughs> when the pimples getting closer, you just hear trap music getting louder and louder. <laughs> dun, yeah. dun. This is serious business. Everybody out of the playground now! (laughs) Now, folks, now, folks, this is no reason to cancel the Puerto Rican Day Parade. (laughs) Please, there's pit bulls all over the place. This is harmless. Yeah, you're going to hurt Upper Darby tourism. (laughs) (laughs) So when did his terrorism reign start? A couple weeks ago. He had been getting out for a while, but a couple weeks ago is when he killed the dog. Got a taste for blood, and last week is when he bit the child. Ah. He's heating up. So he was basically out there just, like, cruising, Mm -hmm. and then he's like, all right, no one's fucking, you know, no one's fucking with me, so I might as well see what I can get away with. No one's going to say shit to me, huh? Okay. I'm, I'm, I feel, well, a part of me is anxious, but a part of me feels justified because I've been saying for years that I carry a dog knife and I look like a fucking psycho. Even my wife calls me a fucking pussy. Yeah. Because we walk down the dog street for fucking years since we've been there. This yeah. is vindication, Mike. By it the is. way, Mike, this is actually your calling. It's come true. I feel yeah. it in my bones. This yeah. is your purpose. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to kill. I, I, I got a bloodthirst too, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you're that guy who's been telling everybody. You're the guy who's been telling everybody the aliens are real and no one believed you. I'm, I'm yeah. coming in the dead of night. This is yeah. about to be zero bark 30. Yeah. Poor dog, man. <laughs> you're that dude in Independence Day. Everybody thought was crazy. <laughs> how many, like, how many issues from your childhood do you think it's going to relieve when you finally kill this dog? All of them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not fat, and you can't molest me. <laughs> you proud of me now, Dad? <laughs> That's when the cops pull up. <laughs> Mike just looks like a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Fletch3000 in the chat says, Mike, you deserve to kill this dog. That's all I ever wanted yeah. to hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to get one of these knives dipped in baby blue. We need a powder blue Mm -hmm. dog knife for you to finally fulfill your destiny. Oh, my God. You're the hero the neighborhood deserves. Yeah, I I truly am. Yeah. There's so many kids that play at this fucking park, and this dog lives a block away from this fucking park. That's right, Mike. Keep talking yourself into it. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Kyle Bittenhouse. (laughs) (laughs) And the dog swung a skateboard at me. You guys all saw it. <laughs> that dog was molesting children. <laughs> Mike just walk into a tank with a, with, with a knife in the air. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna I think be you should get... go full sword. Fuck the knife. I'm gonna be getting questioned by the animal yeah. warden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will be cool, man. The do bark th- night. Yeah. Do you the think the night. neighborhood will turn on me, or do you think they'll applaud me? Now, that's tricky. It depends, because here's the thing. Obviously, on paper, you're the hero. Mm-hmm. Everyone should be, yeah, mm-hmm. you did it, Rain Train. We always believed in you. They're throwing, they're hanging out of their windows, throwing loaves of bread down onto the people in the streets. You basically get your own Puerto Rican Day Parade. Yeah. yeah. But in reality... It's kind of like a domestic assault where it's like you step in, you go, I'm going to be the hero. And then it's like, get the fuck off of my boyfriend. Like, everyone's going to be like, you shouldn't have killed that dog, dude. <laughs> like, they're all going to bitch out at the last minute. You got to be prepared. Yeah, for this, fuck, dude. man. They're hoping someone steps up and, you know, suffers the consequences for killing a dog. I think as soon as you kill the dog, it's going to be revealed that it's like one of those abused puppies. Ooh, or it's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the piano music starts playing. It's just like, he was oh. abused from the time he was born. And then he was adopted by the biker gang until this murderer came and just took his life away. Yeah, wow. there's definitely going to be an unearthed video of this motherfucker on the dodo. And he's going to turn out, the dog's going to turn out to be trans or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I heard he cut his dick off. <laughs> <laughs> or her dick off. <laughs> Bingo was his dead name, though. <laughs> A lot of murky water, but 
Maybe I need a disguise. Should I just get uh, the biggest Spider-Man costume they got on Amazon? Ooh. Mm. I mean, if you could throw down, you could definitely racially confuse them if you throw down some sick dance moves in an Elmo costume. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> if you smash this dog's yeah. head with, like, a drumline drum. Oh, my God. <laughs> ben, could you Google fattest Spider-Man costume they got? <laughs> uh, type in Peter Porker. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I think I'm 205 now <laughs> Time for justice Mike Listen Yeah the I don't want to do it But it needs to be done Actually yeah, yeah. I kind of want to no, do it No you want to do it Whoa Yeah, yeah. Alright yeah That's what I need With oh, great wow. powdered donuts Comes great <laughs> responsibility <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ man <laughs> Pitbull Dyke. Oh, Fletch 3000, you must have been reading my text messages. Tim, <laughs> Tim, did you see that fat wigger lesbian on the corner when you turned down the street? Yeah, I did. Did you? Which corner were they on? On Allegheny? No. No. Yeah, she had a girl with her when I pulled mm-hmm. up. Did you see that? Did yep. she just post up there? That's like her spot. This is the first time I've seen her. But okay. she had uh, an undercut and her hair was pulled up like She pebbles. had an underfade. She had an underfade separate from the rest of her hair. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. You, you could tell like she has a custom strap on. Mm. Yeah, flat brim strap on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a, a holographic s- sticker on the bottom of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's great. She out there, and you could tell she was just holding it down. Plastic bag hanging off her wrist, just like yo, I'm down here waiting on this pussy. Y'all heard me? You feel me, dude? That's my powerful s- shit. Gray sweatsuit. That's my second uh, large wigger lady I've seen today that's brightened my day. The first one, I had to go to AutoZone. Uh-huh. This queen, who happened to have a queen tattoo on her neck, just took care of business, and nothing makes me harder than a woman who is competent at a typically male task. That is one thing I'll give fat lesbians credit for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If they work at, like, a guy's place, they are out to prove something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then if they're, like, at, like, a Wendy's, it's kind of like, you know, that's kind of, they're kind of retarded. Yeah, they kind of just seem like Down syndrome guys. Yeah, <laughs> are you, you saying fat, fat lesbian wiggers? Fat lesbians like... are essentially Down syndrome guys uh-huh. when they work at like a minimum wage job place. But if they're like changing your tires, they're they're going at one hundred and ten percent speed. Yeah, this all the, the math checks out of this. You don't have to take my word for it, <laughs> brother. This queen had it on lockdown. Wait, I she had to work there, or she was a customer. She was a manager there. Oh, and I went there I'm, initially. Yeah. I bought a, a battery charger. Then I was like, all right, the battery's dead. So I came back and she's like, she's like, hang on. She's like, you got a warranty from last time. She's like, if you bring it back in, she's like, don't tell me about this, but you could bring in a golf cart battery and they will give you a free one. Oh, wow. Brought my battery back and uh, she's like, yeah, it's right over there. And I went over to go get it. She's mm-hmm. like, no, I got a baby. And she lifted up the battery. And I don't know if you've lifted yep. a battery lately, but these things are heavy as shit. Dude. Oh, this battery right here? Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, I get my exercise lifting batteries. I was like, God damn, bitch. Yeah. That's yeah. the type of chick you don't help her with her with her luggage. Oh god, there's no, no. need. Just an absolute yeah. queen, man. I loved her so much. Good for her, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's have her on. Actually, let's have her fight the other way. In the winner will interview. Why don't you stick uh, her? <laughs> I would hate for them to fight, man. Why that's you, all they do. You, why don't you stick her on the dog? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, and you Pokemon to fat lesbian <laughs> wigger <laughs> to fight a dog in your neighborhood for you. <laughs> Desiree, I choose you. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What are we doing here? <laughs> yeah. What do you think your favorite type of lesbian is? Mm. Mm, I, I know everyone's least favorite, and that's stinky, skinny lady at the supermarket who won't <laughs> stop fucking looking at everybody weird. <laughs> <laughs> Those ladies need to fucking knock it off. <laughs> the earth tone clothing, like half gray hair down to their shoulders, just like mm. they need to yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah, lesbians with a cause. That's my least. Mm. Yeah, yeah, get the hell out of here, yeah. dude. One of the supermarket lesbians really creeped me out last week and really made mm-hmm. me angry. Uh, she was working a self checkout. Yeah, and mine kept fucking up, and I had my son with me. And she's trying to figure it out, and we're waiting for whatever she did the process. And she looks at my son. She's like, what aisle are the little boys in? I was like, what's that? She's like, I'm just asking them what aisle are the little boys in. Where'd they get you from? Swing and a miss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lady. 
Swing and a miss is tough for somebody who should be pretty well versed in softball. softball yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's rain train, rain train, party time. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, no. But I had good experience with my lesbians today. I don't even know if that. How'd you respond to her? You just that one, her? That's I my just, horoscope. I just looked at her. <laughs> That's Mike's horoscope. Yeah. Is yeah. <laughs> how the fucking Wigger lesbians are treating them. <laughs> I mean, if it was a guy, it would have been much different. Yeah. But if it's just a crusty old lesbian, it's just like, lady, come on, man. What if there was an aisle that would you can get young boys and you just didn't know about it? <laughs> I would avoid that <laughs> aisle together, <laughs> Dave. <Yeah>, right. <laughs> that, in, that entrapment aisle. <laughs> yeah, there there would be dudes riding the fucking carts into that yeah. aisle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what was that? What was that video I sent you guys? That one. Uh, the Wendy Williams. Not Wendy Williams. The one before that. Oh, the American Idol. Oh yeah. Did you see Mar- uh, Katy Perry crying on American Idol? No. Okay, I'm gonna this, set this, this up real quick. Don't play it yet. It started from the beginning with audio. So I wanted to watch this because. What is she crying about? Katy Perry cries because this contestant uh, was in a school shooting. He survived a school shooting and he tells the story and Katy Perry cries and I was that like, must have been the worst school shooter ever if you missed that. <laughs> <laughs> How bad is your aim if you miss that <laughs> fucking kid? Uh, <laughs> he fired over 500,000 oh. rounds. <laughs> no one was shot. <laughs> this cross-eyed motherfucker couldn't <laughs> hit a fat kid. <laughs> That's what we need, just oh more cross-eyed God, fucking dude. school shooters. So I just wanted I, all I wanted to do was watch it, and I wanted I wanted you know what I wanted to gift myself five seconds of like this fucking phony, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. fucking shut the fuck up, Katy Perry. Uh-huh. That's all I was gonna do, and I yeah. wasn't gonna tell anybody about it. But watching the video, there was a moment, and I want to see if it has the same effect on anyone else. But there was a moment that made me laugh so fucking hard, and I that's all I'm going to say. I'm gonna watch your faces. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I'm way off on this, but there's a moment that really felt like a button for me, and I, it doesn't seem like it's supposed to be funny at all. I had a different moment that got me. As the, as funny as I think your moment is, my, another moment got me. All right, let's okay. just, all right, let's hit David and see what he thinks. All right. Why are you doing Idol, man? So, American Idol number one is kind of where people that I enjoy make it. Um, number two is. As I said before, I'm from Santa Fe, Texas. Um, In May 2018... um, People found out that I was kin to Leatherface. Uh, (laughs) I was in art room one. He shot up art room two before he made his way to art room one. Uh, Lost a lot of friends. Uh, Eight eight, eight students were killed. Uh, Two teachers were killed. And uh, it's just really been negative, man. Santa Fe's had a bad rap here since 2018. I can't believe he ate that many kids. Oh, okay. What you doing, Katie? <laughs> Our country has <laughs> failed us. Oh. Facts. <laughs> this is not okay. You should be singing here because you love music. You say facts or fats? Facts. Facts. <laughs> no, facts. You have to go through that. Dude. I agree. Oh my god. You would have to lose eight friends. I hope that you remind people that we have to change. Because you know what? I'm scared too. It's terrible, Katie. What fucking school is she in? King. <laughs> Katie, I'm so sorry that that happened to you. <laughs> I'm, so <sorry. laughs> I'm so sorry that you heard about that happening from me, Katie. Come annoying. Dude. All right. That, that's plenty. This stuff is all, I mean, obviously that's all just fake. What are you shit. doing, Katie? Eating your own pussy? You're crying about my shooting. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> hey, look, first of all, he looks like Fat Paul McCartney, which is cool. We're due for a Fat Paul Paul. Paul, Paul Blartney, <laughs> Paul, I'll allow it. M- Mick Blartney. There, there, you, there go. you go. Yes, yes dude. <laughs> you, you got there. <laughs> Woo! Katie, he had burst in the art room one, and baby, there were fireworks. <laughs> that is a fact, Miss Perry. Now I do come to you today, penis in hand, trying to stare at your gigantic milkers, and I'm hoping that's okay <laughs> with you. 
Now, if you don't mind, I will regale you with the story of eight of my child- childhood friends being m- gunned down. If, but, oh, please stop. What you doing, Katie? Why are you crying? You're so pretty. <laughs> you don't need to be crying like that. I we, shot we. a kid and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Perry, with all due respect, we lost eight kids that day, but every time I look at you, I lose some kids, too. Because, <laughs> baby, my gun works. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she made it all about her. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm scared, too. Yeah. That's okay, ma'am. I'm here for you. I also double as a futon. <laughs> If you're in need of comfort, ma'am, please, I'd hope you let me suck on your boobies a little bit. Can you wipe your upper lip off before you <laughs> hug me? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, just what I, they left that in. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> we should not have children dying in schools. Even more facts. 100%, ma'am. Where is the lie? <laughs> uh, Lost in the Sauce did security for Katy Perry. I want to hear more about that at some point. Oh, wow. That's got to be terrifying. Being that close to just an unhinged. Mm-hmm. That's baby Leatherface, brother. <laughs> actually, it was Art, Art Room 2 got shot first, right? Yeah. He didn't then actually he came say how one. he avoided being shot because he said he did. He went to Art Room 2 first. Then he came to Art Room 1. Like, okay, well, how did he not shoot you? Were you hiding behind other children? Were you uh, using teachers? How fat are the other kids? <laughs> <laughs> behind behind I mean, this is a Texas, yeah. I'm assuming high school. Yeah. It probably looks like an indoor cattle farm. Yeah. Probably- <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cattle prod. <laughs> you know what the worst part about shooting up an art room is like mm-hmm. there's going to be some splatter and the teacher's got to be like, that's actually very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As far as abstract, <laughs> they're dying words. That looks like it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> it's so deco. <laughs> oh, I'm scared too. Oh man. Oh, I didn't. I forgot to look up what song he sang. What song do you think he sang? I bet it's a Chris Stapleton song. No, I have no idea who that is. You don't know who Chris Stapleton is? He's like the most popular white dude right now. Tennessee whiskey, sang the national anthem whiskey. at this little thing called the Super Bowl. Oh, that's who that was. I thought that was like a, a AMC television guy. I thought that was like a Sons of Anarchy character. <laughs> that was Chris Stapleton. Yeah. yeah. Okay, got mm-hmm. you. Well, that was terrible. What? I think. No, he was terrific. You no, would like. I'm pretty him. sure it was really bad. It was uh, good, like but him. it wasn't like I'm gonna remember it forever. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I he thought did that, his job. I thought yeah. that was a guy from the TV show Vikings, just like. <laughs> People like him so much that he came out and played his acoustic guitar. I didn't know that was like a national touring act. My bad. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. So what? All right. So that that was the springboard into. I went down a Wendy Williams rabbit hole. Has this been discussed? I've never watched? heard that. I'm sorry if anyone else has covered this. Have you been following Wendy Williams? No, but I'm just. Uh, when you said this is has this been discussed? You mean like on this show? No, I just mean like our podcast. Like aware of how funny Wendy Williams is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure uh, you're, you guys haven't really talked about Wendy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> if, I had to, if, I was, if I was a betting man. Well, I, th- I thought she was, I know that she's suffering from some sort of like brain failure. But she used to, she was also dabbling in uh, cocaine. Ah, getting into it late in life. Yeah. Very cool. Well, now, she was on and off again for a while, I think. Well, I so I thought that she was, I thought her and Bruce Willis were both like, Riding off into the sunset, their yeah. brains weren't working anymore. I thought she was actually like she was like fainting and passing. Yeah, out I thought she was being ago. like elder abused. Like she has no idea where she is. Yeah, wasn't she dressed as a Statue of Liberty? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's she's a, it's a TV show. You could do that kind of stuff, man. But that would be a great moment too for Katy Perry to say, "This country is fucked." <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. Fax. I still want to know what the song the kids sang. I, it's it's got to be. Can you kick him off after all that? This just went through that whole emotional display. If he sucks, I, I don't know. look up the song. Oh, okay, they covered it on the bonfire. I'm not gonna talk about Wendy Williams then. Okay, I just watched a ton of her videos last night where she says the funniest shit of all time. God damn it! 
God bless his heart. What this, what this fat motherfucker say? You want to talk about Wendy? Talk about Wendy, man. Speak on her. Yeah. Say her name, Tim. <laughs> Nobody owns Wendy. No, well, she. I mean, just the timing. The, her, her, her timing in having poor timing is so good that it. It. it I'm almost celebrating it. What did school sh- day? <laughs> What a joy it is to watch you Google stuff. <laughs> what did school shooter victims sing on <laughs> American Horror Story? <laughs> All right, before we check this out, this seems like a great time to thank our sponsors. This episode of Dad Meat is presented to you by Manscaped. Spring has sprung, and our friends at Manscaped have the best tools for some spring cleaning. They've already helped you tidy up all the nooks and crannies of your body's basement. Where are your nooks and crannies at, David? Everywhere. Wouldn't you like to know? I will find out. But this year, Manscaped can help you get the perfect presentation on that beautiful face. I'm looking at both of y'all. Oh, mm. With the new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Make sure you look your best this spring by using promo code FATBIRD to get 20% off and free shipping at Manscaped.com. How great would it be if I killed that dog and Manscaped him? I was going to say, does Manscaped offer a peanut butter remover? <laughs> ruh <Ruh-roh. laughs> It's time to tame your mane. So with the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, the sun's peeking back out, which means you'll have to show your face in the daylight again. So use the kit to make sure your scruff looks award-winning, whether you got glorious beard flow or some smooth, sleek cheeks. And I know that both of y'all got smooth, sleek cheeks. Mm. Can one of you guys show at least one cheek right now? <laughs> <laughs> but that's manscaped.com, promo code FATBIRD. Not on the free episode, Mike. And start the new year with a new you and close that will give you the confidence to tackle those 2023 resolutions. Thanks to our sponsor, True Classic. You'll have everything you need to hit the gym, take it slow, or treat yourself to something nice. True Classic has already helped over 2 million men, uh, mostly overweight and having trouble getting ladies, and are probably jacking off while watching this right now, look great in their tees, and now you can save big while you do so. For a limited time only, get 25% off with the promo code FATBIRD at trueclassic.com. But for real though, True True Classic has the best t-shirts that I have. I wear them almost every day, and I look great. I feel great, and I'm going to treat myself to some more T-shirts. What we should do is get a promotion going with them where we print our next round of merch on them. Oh, that'd be terrific. Wouldn't that be cool? That's a great idea. They could fucking, if someone could actually really interact with us instead of just, you know. We're going to make that happen at trueclassic.com using promo code FATBIRD. And also, check out BetterHelp. If you're struggling, you need to talk to a fucking therapist, you don't want to go through all the rigmarole of going somewhere, being seen by some bitch that you fingered at a roller rink 20 years ago thinking that you're breaking down mentally and that you're on the verge of shooting up a supermarket, go to betterhelp.com, use promo code FATBIRD. You get a nice discount. They'll help you get set in. You get set up with a nice therapist, and if you don't like the one you got, you could say something mean, then log right off, and they'll set you up with a new one. No questions asked. You can say any words that you want before getting rid of them. You can get. You can do video chat. You can do texting. You can do, do it over the phone, whatever's most comfortable for you. They make it very easy to switch them out if you need to do that. It's very easy to do. I can't vouch for better help enough. They helped me over the summer. I bet one of the biggest anxieties about trying to see a mental health professional is probably the same as the same, you know the anxiety of seeing any kind of new provider, dentist, doctor. It's the fucking dumb bitch at the front desk making you fill out the same set of forms again, mm-hmm. killing 15 minutes, and then they see someone else before you because now you're sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> and then on top of that, she's like, um, do you have an updated insurance card? Like that kind of shit. Like none of that, dude. It's just a fucking couple of clicks, and then you're in a Zoom, and you're talking about you. I'm glad you brought that up, because the biggest obstacle that I faced when I used to do in-person therapy Mm -hmm. was getting behind on payments. Like, my shit used to be $70 $70 with insurance when I would go. And that fucking bitch at the front desk would say it loud enough for everybody in that motherfucker to hear that I was this close to not being able to be seen unless I paid my back bill. But avoid that at BetterHelp.com using promo code FATBIRD. There we go. And get some blue chew too. Get hard while you're at it. Promo code Fatbird for that too. Just get hard, man. There's no reason not to be hard. It's 2023. The weather's getting nice. It's dog killing season. <laughs> How cool would it be if you were rock hard when you killed that dog? You'd be struck by lightning instantly. There's no <laughs> way. Is that, is, that, is that what happens? You'd, you'd create a, a charge in the atmosphere around you that would get you absolutely fried. I didn't see that on yeah. the Ben Franklin tour. <laughs> 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 yeah, they say that he ran a key up a kite, but what really happened was he got hard as fuck and stabbed a dog <laughs> and then screamed at God and created electricity. <laughs> so, yeah, if, I mean, if you're okay with, you know, creating that kind of invention, uh, bluechew.com. Uh, uh, that Bluetooth. reminds me, there's a Ben Franklin quote that really makes me laugh. Y'all want to hear it? Yeah, go ahead. It's uh, something along the lines of, 
Uh, fish and guests both stink after three days. Mm. Something to think about. Mm. He must have had wigger older brothers. <laughs> <laughs> if I could venture to guess about old Ben Franklin, <laughs> he must have had 40-year-old wigger older brothers. <laughs> Hey man, put that key in that kite and shit, man. You know what I'm saying, man? You gotta put that shit on that motherfucking kite. Yo, man. mommy said it's my turn with the kite. <laughs> These ain't the only keys I deal with. You feel me, girl? But for real though, can you give me a ride to the mall? <laughs> so to answer your question from earlier, Trey from the Fay sang Stone by Whiskey Myers. I don't know what that is. Me neither. I'm Stoned probably good not knowing. By Whiskey Meyer. No, just the word stone. Oh, that's a cool stone. name, man. It's probably about being like made of stone. You're you're like emotionally unavailable. Mm. You wish you could break down, and there's a woman that you meet, and maybe you know the first you know sort of cracks form around your heart, and you start to shine through. That's my guess. What the song is about? Facts. Could just be about drinking, <laughs> <laughs> drinking in a dusty parking lot. But what are you what doing, do. Tim? <laughs> 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 Fax. Yeah, that's the. Uh... Yeah, but then he passed. That's the important question. <laughs> oh, but it, it, yeah. Imagine okay, like okay. spilling your heart. I'll just skip the dog killing episodes. Peace, y'all. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's Someone the gayest out. shit in the way. It's constant. Every time you joke about how funny it would be for a dog to die, even when it's a bad guy dog, someone goes, This is just too much for me, guys. I, You know what? Please stick to constant, you know, ironic racism and. <laughs> sexual violence but please for the love of god dude dogs are cute and also i'm i'm hiding the fact that i'm a pedophile so i'm gonna act like i'm all about you know the yeah. virtue of uh, protecting the innocent lives of animals by the way animals. by the way why are you tapping out on, on, on this is a murderous dog this for dog real. is on its way you're, you're taking probably... the dog side dude yeah and this dog attacked another dog so yeah, you're yeah. Yeah. another dog, dog. Yeah. you're yeah. on you're yeah. on site you fucking pervert Actually, don't let me see you around here again. Yeah, how dog positive are you, dickhead? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't come around me when you need a dog killed. Yeah. Yeah. This guy loves pit Dude, bulls it's so more than, funny. Yeah, more than toddlers and other dogs. <laughs> what an asshole. Motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all heard of Dog the Bounty Hunter? Well, I'm Bounty the Dog Hunter. <laughs> And I'm coming for everyone, you bad pit bulls out there. If you got a bad fucking beagle on your hands, I'll fucking stone cold stunner his little faggot ass too. Dogs can suck my dick. Bad dogs can suck my dick. Good dogs can, they're fine. Bad dogs. Good dogs can lick peanut butter off of my penis and balls, but yeah. bad dogs. Fucking pit bulls, pit bulls walking around with fucking beagle blood on its mouth. <laughs> Brother, I, I get through workouts thinking about breaking the legs of bad dogs and having them rent in, in one of those fucking doggy wheelchairs. <laughs> Coast that Ian said, pull up dog on dog crime statistics. <laughs> oh no. We're, <laughs> we're species realists. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that dogs in Chicago kill more dogs than any other dogs? <laughs> what about them? Well, interesting you say that because Washington DC banned pit bulls and they have the most pit bull tax per capita. What's that say? Yeah, Every Chicago day. dog statistics, that's what we're after. <laughs> <laughs> nearly, yeah. nearly a thousand uh, people are mm. treated every year for serious dog bite injuries. So that's over three a day. You're comfortable with that? No, this is, I'm sorry, this is each day 1,000. Whoa! Annually. Oh, yeah. That's 365,000 people real. a year. Annually. 12,480 are hospitalized due to dog bites. Uh, Danny, we got a question too from Mac Johnson. He asked, what's the suicide rate in the trans dog community? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny if they put cones on people after they had bottom <laughs> surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what, dude, we don't give a fuck here, dude. We'll say whatever the fuck. We'll joke about killing dogs. Oh, we're a girl dog. I have a coat around her neck so she can't suck her own dick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Fucking. So. Tell, tell us more about what you guys don't fucking like. Fucking Scoob her do. <laughs> You got that. You got that right. I mean, that's one hundred percent fight. I got one person tapped out, and then we all just attacked. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was also forty minutes into the show. <laughs> 
40 minutes in, he goes, all right, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, not the kid that survived the school shooting that we just made fun of for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's fine, but just. I would never talk about killing pit. an innocent dog. I'm talking yeah. about like a dog with like a spike mm-hmm. collar and, you know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe like a, a like a little leather jacket on it. Yeah, that's what I'm killing. Yeah, he's got a rap sheet, man. Uh, Chris Mack brought up how a lady near her near him got a. I don't wait. I'm, I don't want to misgender. So Chris mentioned that a person near them won four hundred fifty thousand dollars in dog owners' property insurance insurance, but I highly doubt these people have dog owners' property insurance. No. Yeah, I doubt that. Oh, uh, you could take out a policy in their name. Insurance. You could- yeah, I might do that. Yeah, a little bit of insurance fraud. What about that? Do you guys like insurance fraud? Manhands mentioned that recently, how some dude added himself to Manhands' auto insurance, and there was nothing the auto company could do about it. Ooh, I'm going to add myself to Manhands'. Why don't we all do that? Wouldn't that be funny? (laughs) (laughs) What a great prank. (laughs) If everybody listened to this, found Manhands, and added themselves to (laughs) auto insurance. (laughs) Was this just a random guy or like a... yeah. What the hell? Somebody she has no idea who this man is, and she called her company, and they said there's nothing they can do. Wow. Yeah, it truly is insane what you can get away with. Okay, so let's, uh, uh, wheels are spinning. Let's get pet insurance. First of all, let's get pet life insurance for the pit bull. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this, Tim. Let's get yeah. dog attack uh, homeowner insurance for the motorcycle gang. Let's get me bite insurance. Let's get a little, <laughs> a little bit of bite insurance. <laughs> uh, what other insurance can we get? Do you think you have to insure your you get a bigger insurance payout for certain parts of your body being bitten? Like what I'm asking, I'm I'm dancing around the topic, but if my dick got bitten off in this dog, is that your is that your number one fear? Yeah, he's gonna get to your penis and balls, dude. That's I got. Listen, I got looked at by two dogs the wrong way when I was in New York with Jake last week. Mm -hmm. One barked at me. I didn't appreciate that. And another one stood in front of me and would not move. So as I pass, I put my forearm in front of my penis because getting my dick bit by a dog is one of my worst nightmares. I got nipped by a dog walking in the park. They like they, they were stopped uh, on the path through uh, Penny Pack, and uh, people were like fussing over this dog. Like, oh my god, so cute, so cute, so cute! And I'm walking up like past this, and I think it's obnoxious. I hate that shit. And they say goodbye, and she's got, like, a lot of slack on the line with this dog. And the dog, Mm-mm. like, finishes getting attention and runs over to me and, like, nips the side of my knee. And she goes, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And I was just like, oh, cool. What do I do? Do I punch this woman in the face now? Mm-hmm. Do I kill this? Do I throw this dog in the creek? I'm with you, brother. What's the, there's no recourse whatsoever. I, I thought about it too late, but I wish I, I'm done being Mr. Nice Guy around fucking dogs Ooh, with bad oh. owners. But the first dog that I went past that was aggressive toward me when I was uh-huh. in New York with Jake, they were at one of those... um their street fucking structures that they built during COVID so yeah. people can eat at restaurants. Outdoor dining? Yeah, they were at outdoor dining. And uh, the dog barked at me. And in hindsight, I wish I spit on their food. Yeah. <laughs> or like threw a uh, threw a piece of glassware at them. Uh-huh. Maybe these dogs know what you're about. They do. You I think I mean? word spreading. Like they don't have to see the knife to know what you're mm-hmm. about. Oh, I wonder if there's a yeah. dog podcast where he's like, <laughs> yeah, my neighbor's been carrying a knife. I already had to kill another dog. <laughs> my owner is kind of fucked up on pills and won't stop beating the shit out of me. <laughs> I think I might bite this guy's dick off. Everyone's like, another human attacking episode. I'm out. <laughs> Always joking about attacking humans, dude. That I can't do. Please. Talk about how Chihuahuas listen to music too loud. <laughs> Some other dog Stick had to his, the funny stuff. <laughs> Some other dog had his dick bitten off. It's like, I'm done. Tap it out, man. <laughs> Dude, you're right. You've been saying how you want to bite a human. This is your chance. <laughs> this episode of Red Rocket has been brought to you by Dogscaped. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's podcast is called Kid Meat. <laughs> the real Slim Shady 2667 with the line of the episode. Uh, I like Brendan Price's idea. Tie a milk bone on the end of a barrel of a shotgun and wait. <laughs> <laughs> ah, another disciple of Elmer Fudd. <laughs> yeah. We got a lot of steam here. Yeah. I. Mm. I yeah. So, all right. So, a little bit of insurance for all, a little bit of dog murder. Mm-hmm. Oh, your question. Do you think you get more insurance based on what? Uh, for pee pee bite. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, because yeah. it's also harder to repair. And then when you say pain and suffering, they go, oh, how much? And you go, 
penis and balls that go, oh, ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah. Would I have to show it in court? You have oh, to prove hopefully. it, yeah. I mean, you have to show it on your podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well. You think they'll make me put it on the Bible? <laughs> 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 the dog's chomping at the bit, and this lawyer's like, chill the fuck out, dude. Yeah. You're almost free. They're looking down. Are you sure that's the whole truth? Because <laughs> you have a little dick. Yeah, that's <laughs> <man>. Cool. <laughs> uh, but what if I got? I was able to get the dick that I've always wanted? D- do you think that ever works that way for the people with face transplants? <laughs> yeah. You'd but, have to get a penis transplant. But here's the deal. I, I, I don't want a pretty one. I just want a lot of meat. Like, you, it's it's easy. You can make a bad hoagie with a lot of meat. It's yeah. still you think a I big after, hoagie. <laughs> you're thinking Dude, about, I'm getting that in cursive <laughs> across the top of my kitchen. <laughs> you can make a bad hoagie with a lot of meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, when, the, when you get the transplant, it's never better than the original. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the dogs riot when it's exonerated. <laughs> <laughs> every pet, every pet co uh, is just being raided. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pit bulls walking out with doggy beds over their heads. <laughs> no justice, no treats. <laughs> <laughs> Say his name, Fudge. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. I I just hope my 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 behavior doesn't bring anybody else down. Like if the animal warden shows up and puts his knee on the dog's neck, and that's the photo that they use in the in the newspaper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I got to be careful with what I do. Yeah. Yeah. They rub his nose in it until he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Suffocates from having his nose rubbed in it. <laughs> Look at him. No remorse in his face. He clearly hates dogs. <laughs> uh, he actually has a history of joking about killing dogs on podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> this is very incriminating. <laughs> I know. I regret doing this. Can we delete this as soon as we're done? <laughs> you know how many episodes are going to have to delete? <laughs> yeah, Derek <talk>. Show Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, what about a, a dog? <laughs> what about a dog uh to defend you? Have you have you thought about like a Ooh. I wouldn't want to do that, man, because that dog's going to come away with some injuries, man. It's it's me against the dog and that's all I want. It's me coming down one end of the street, the dog coming at the other end of the street, oh, wow, wow. and hopefully he doesn't get distracted by a car. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. What if you got him to, to chase your car onto the highway? Oh, that'd be good. You know? Just dangle. Just strap a toddler to the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all you have to do is Head drag a toddler. Yeah, it's got to be a live toddler. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> it's like a quarter mile. Yeah. That would be fine. Yeah, does anybody have a fat child that they regret? (laughs) (laughs) No, none of my children are fat, inshallah. Come on, man. (laughs) Chihuahuas are the deadliest dogs. Yeah, I think if you maybe got like a pack of like six chihuahuas, they could like, they could, gremlins, or uh, Mm. not gremlins, critters. They could do the critters attack on the, they're like land piranhas. What dog breed do you think hates pit bulls the most? Um, All of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty universally <laughs> pretty unpopular. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably the cop dogs. Oh, uh, the German canines? shepherds. Yeah, <laughs> like a bunch of German shepherds just sitting in like an open garage, saying this used to be a nice neighborhood. <laughs> oh wow, Jeffrey Pitts. No, I think we all know. Who, I think we all know who the German shepherds hate the most. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you've ever seen any old Jim Crow footage, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty obvious who the German Shepherds hate the most. Dude, this is, this is the best. <laughs> Mike Trainer said Jeffrey Pittstein killed himself in prison. <laughs> they were in the kennel, not prison. <laughs> man. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, man. It sucks, man. We haven't done it in a while, and I wouldn't do it again, but one of my cats... We put him on a harness and took him outside. But if, if, I don't even want to think of this, man. 
That's that's warriors come out and play. <laughs> oh my God, that's the dinner bell. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it my would God. feel. I mean, winning winning against the dog that's trying to kill you probably feels so fucking good. I've thought about this before. Do you think jujitsu would work on a bad dog? I wonder because I feel like you know. They they do have I I'm afraid of animals' claws right because yeah. they have four mm -hmm. they, you know you know what to expect with a guy's arms and legs mm -hmm. and I'm talking about like trying to get behind a dog and like choke it but then it like gets its claws under your arm but dog claws if I'm being honest are kind of dull they're more for like digging in dirt than they are for mm -hmm. like really you know true getting anything going so yeah I could definitely either choke a dog or break its neck. Mm -hmm. Was that your question? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I asked what you want to do after the podcast. <laughs> I watch this back later. Yeah. You attempt to exit the dog conversation like 30 times, and I just keep bringing it back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if how to, breaking a pit bull's neck, that's got to be. I think you just got to choke it out. Yeah. Yeah, somebody yeah. brought up a rear, rear yeah. naked choke in the dog, and that's what I envision myself doing a lot of times. Yeah. Because that's a strong-ass neck to try to move it. I know. Yeah, I think you just got to choke it out. How embarrassed would that dog be if I choked him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He'd lose all of his uh, street cred. Yeah, he might turn him into a good dog. That feels so terrible, man, because that dog yeah. he killed was such a sweet You dog. hop up on the side of the dog park fence. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> 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 he mm -hmm. said the dog he killed was a Dana good Bites dog. Contender Series. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not letting this die. <laughs> Let's go, guys. There's something here. You, said, you think instead of tough, it would be rough? <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet you could get John Jones to fight a dog. I John Bones. Has, uh, it's right there. Yeah. Why don't you go get a gator? Ooh. Pimp. Yeah. That's yeah, pimp. Yeah. yeah, if you're just strutting just around with a gator. Waiting at the end of his street with all these animals yeah. that get off the black market oh my god i can't believe I, this almost slipped my mind we're almost done the episode tim do you know the eagles new defensive coordinator is indian oh no i don't know that <clears throat> did you know that danny the, the, guy, the guy they hired today is an indian defensive guy. coordinator yes damn what do you think he's gonna bring to the table uh um, wait where is he from the bears oh he was already in that NFL. yeah yeah but he his parents are from india india nice wow so get ready brother yeah, this is gonna be nasty. This is—is is this unprecedented? Is this unbre I can't. <laughs> dude. You can't nah. talk about Indian guys around me. I'm obsessed with them. He's been coaching for a little while, but man, it's this is gonna be the first season where a quarterback has acid thrown in his face. <laughs> <laughs> do you think the you, you think the middle linebacker is gonna believe him when he calls into plays? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, I want to do a blitz, and also I need your social security number. Um, it appears that someone has. Bought a cell phone, an iPhone 14 on your Amazon page. You need to go give me your social security number and for and a three for defense. Um, give me your. I can certainly understand yeah. you're wanting to kill the quarterback. Yeah, yes, sir. They are more certainly going along on this play where they match. So please, please keep that safety in the back. Please. <laughs> Do not let them get into the end zone on this one, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw a uh, a headline or maybe a screenshot or something. They have uh, Indian call center guys are being, um, they're being recruited to uh, monitor like uh, security cameras in real time oh. and like deter crimes by like yelling at people. Oh. Yeah, that'll so work. Like, so like when your ring cam goes off, like there's an intruder to be like, get out of my house, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> this might have been real. I yeah. every, that, that cursing is the funniest shit on a Oh, uh, dude, why? I mean, yeah. I don't fuck your mother, you yeah. mother. <laughs> fuck, fuck your butt. <laughs> get the fuck out of my Uber right now, sir. Please, please. <laughs> You're fucking piece of shit. I will shit on your. I will shit on your your mother's. But I will do it. Dude, after like the. Why third... don't you go and fuck your sister? <laughs> you have... There's always something sexual. Dude, it's not. It's there... gonna be insane because like female homeowners by the third day they're just gonna come in like a fucking side window to avoid being harassed going into their own homes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome on, beautiful girl. Get Very the nice. fuck in this house, you piece of shit. Oh, I can certainly unlock this door. Give me one second, please. 
Oh, so, certainly. <laughs> Sit on my face, you Caucasian bitch. <laughs> Good evening, beautiful. Uh, welcome home, Mrs. Bobs. <laughs> Dude, shout out to the Indian bros, though. They're the best. They're, yeah, they are awesome. They're the best. I was trying to, I was thinking recently because I see a lot of Mexicans, like when I drop my wife off at work, there's a lot of, I call them, but Hispanic fellows that work out back and like nobody's, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to generalize, say Mexicans. Nobody's tougher than Mexicans. Nobody has more fun than Mexicans. And truly living moss. Yeah, nobody has more. Nobody has more fun. Nobody fights harder, and nobody loves more than Mexicans. Wow, they're truly emotional and just. Now you're talking about like all the juice out of life. Real deal, like Aztec Mexicans that you see like riding a BMX to a restaurant job, right? Brother, they love nothing more than playing soccer in the parking lot with a case of Corona next to them and music blasting. Oh yes, and like like strategically ripped jeans. Yeah. yeah, working eighty hours a week, man, just truly fucking living life. Yeah, yeah, being five foot three, Mar- <laughs> marrying some pillhead waitress who <laughs> gives them citizenship. <laughs> I remember yeah. one time I had to explain to a a group of Hispanic sex offenders why they couldn't go out in Halloween. Oh no, yeah, Mexican sex offenders, I should say. What were they dressed as? Yeah, just themselves. Tex Mex Tex. <laughs> it was the day before Halloween, so you had to tell them in advance oh, no. that they couldn't. Uh, they had to stay in the next night. Yeah, they are kind of like the, if you get like five Mexican dudes together after, like on the bus ride home from after work, that does kind of look like the village people. There's a construction yeah. worker. There's a chef. <laughs> there's a, just a guy looks kind of native. <laughs> Did any of them take it tough to the point where you had to console them? Uh, no, no. It was just a lot of. Uh, you know, nodding their heads, knowing that they're they're definitely going out the next day. Oh, yeah. Did you have candy ready for them to soften the blow? <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, they were they were certain for, they were searching for something sweet, but it wasn't candy. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, I mean, I've never, you know, I've just heard. What is like the most common sex offense by uh, Mexicans? <laughs> We should have probably Daddy, ended a minute ago. Don't Google that. Yeah. <laughs> Skeeler just pointed out this is the last day of Black History Month. So, oh, David, David oh, James, what? you have the floor if you want to answer that. <laughs> Far, yo, no way would I ever silence your brave voice, dude. I'm here to amplify voices of color. What sex crime is committed most by Mexicans? <laughs> We need your perspective. Um, I will say uh, churro penetration. (laughs) I told you it was sweet. (laughs) Actually, a high instance of abuelas putting their foot up your ass. (laughs) When they would come into the office, would you sing, I need a churro? Did you ever sing that? You think you sung that to him? You think he was looking for a churro for... The end of the mm-hmm. now. Molesta me. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, well I, f- I feel like we really we really took this to new heights today. <laughs> all pissing. It was that lesbian we saw in the corner. She brought a lot of magic to yeah. the show today. Yeah, she yeah. she lit a fire under my ass for sure. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> she strapped on and we strapped in. So join us at patreon.com slash dadmeat podcast. We're about to head over there in a couple minutes. And, oh, uh, can I put in a plug? Please do, David. Uh, I'm going to be, if you guys, anybody in St. Louis, come to Helium Comedy Club this weekend, March 3rd and 4th in St. Louis. Two nights. Yeah. All right. Anybody in Indianapolis, come to Helium Comedy Club May 12th and 13th. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. Two nighters. Yeah. yeah. Way to go. Yeah. So yeah, please go see jokes. David. As funny as David is on podcasts, he's even better at stand up. You really have to see him. Please oh, go. Thank you. You, if I if I had to pick three people that have made me laugh harder than than anybody else at stand up, I would say you, Gerben, and Tommy. Ooh, that is really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. If if you were putting together like a secret list of like what's really up, that's at the top. Yeah, that'd be great. Timbo, tell him about that Twitch channel, brother. Dude, you got to come to twitch.tv slash Tim Butterly. And I know I said I was going to start, like, just pipelining the videos from Twitch to YouTube, and I started to do it, but it's just, my oh my, is it a lot of work. It's so time consuming. I promise I'm I'm still working on that. I've got, like, um, like video games, like, playthroughs of video games with, like, the chat and, and I 
doing commentary on it, and it's great. I mean, actually saying it out loud now, that sounds like kind of the gayest shit ever, but it's actually pretty sick. Um, and also stoner dads. You, I mean, that, that's it's unmitigated retardation. Um, please watch. Please do check those things out. Also, March 11th, we're doing Dad Meet Live from Helium Comedy Club. Early show, 4 p.m. It's going to be a fucking blast. We'll have special guests. We'll have all the time we want to do whatever we want. Um, I I just can't recommend coming and seeing that enough. Somebody recommended today on Twitter that they uh, or, or mentioned that they're going to Foreman Mills before the show to pick out a wiggery outfit. So I can't recommend that enough. If you choose to do that, I would I would be happy to do raspberries on your belly after the show. I might have to hit up the mills. Should myself. there be a prize for best wigger outfit? That's a great that's a great uh, idea, David. So yes, we will be giving away a prize. We'll think of something good. And best wigger outfit at Helium on March 11th. If things work out well, your prize will be a dead pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! Oh, also, I'm doing the t- I'm doing two off the top with Naeem. Do you know what night that is, Danny? March 4th. Grape Room, Philadelphia. March 4th. Uh, we're doing two off the top, which if you're in the area, we, we've done this. I've done this show a couple times already. It's it's two comics going up at the same time. And I, I essentially just doing like crowd work and riffing together. But I'm doing mine with Naeem Ali mm. on March 4th. How fucking sick is that going to be? And there's uh, plenty of excellent comics on there you should also go see. Yeah, Jake Jake Matera and John Del Collo are on that as well. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. So all that stuff that Tim and David mentioned. And then also check out Little Stinkers, my podcast with Jake Matera and John Del Collo. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the watch along we did last week for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. John Del Calo was so goddamn knowledgeable and vibrant. I had never seen this out of him. That movie <laughs> brought something special out of him, and it was it was truly captivating to watch. Dude, it felt like something possessed. Like he felt like a legit film critic. Incredible! Like, I had never seen blown. anything like it. Like he, that's one Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is one of my favorite movies. Yeah. But Del Calo loves it a thousand times more than I do, and his knowledge and his uh, joie de vivre for that movie really. Just made my wiener wiggle. So check out that, and then also check out my new book, On Perks, at onperks.com. You can buy the print copy, the audiobook copy, which these two just blew me out of the fucking water with that thing. That was and a lot of fun. They made it something that I could have never envisioned, and uh, you can get that at onperks.com. Oh, I forgot to mention the guy that I helped with his car, man. It just I helped a, a, an older guy with his car last week. His name was Mike, and he had a Chrysler 300 that was broken down by an intersection and he was a very old man so I stopped to help him and when I got out of my car I was about to go to Taco Bell I got out of my car it was in a dangerous situation he was standing against the back of it and I said do you need some help he said yeah so I was like all right let me wait wait for traffic to stop so we can figure out where to push it and I said hi my name is Mike he's like mine too and he points to his pendant around his chain and it says Mike and I look down and it's a Chrysler 300 his hoop, his hoop earrings <laughs> say Mike in the middle <laughs> <laughs> no way that's my name <laughs> And uh, I don't mean to toot my own whore, but he had it in neutral. And uh, when I asked him what was wrong with the car, he's like, yeah, it just stopped when I was stopped here. And I looked inside the car. I saw it in neutral. And then he went to sit up against it, and it started to roll a little bit. So I jumped in, and I put it in park. Saved probably two, three, four, five hundred lives that day because it was right by an intersection. Wow. And uh, sure enough, when a uh, cop came and asked him to start it again, it started right up. So he was able to drive away. Ooh. But it was so cool that his name he sounds like, like a had woman. a pressure 300. <laughs> Older black gentleman. Yeah. Ooh. Any other 300? Dude, you should try to find a way to get him to fall in love with you and leave you the car when he dies. And then <laughs> and then use him as bait for the pit bull. <laughs> Unfortunately, he won't make it. Get a life insurance policy on him. You get cashed in on the will. Oh, my God. <laughs> the plan is complete. <laughs> Sorry, how- Black Mike. You're being fed to a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Man, how cool would it be if I maximum overdrived Cujo? <laughs> it caused a lot of misery. <laughs> Perfect. We did it. All right, we'll that see you at the best. Patreon.com slash Dammy Podcast. I love you guys. Oh, yeah. Also, a uh, comedy special uh, called What Had Happened was on YouTube. <laughs> Check it out. Your interaction with that guy in that fucking outfit was one of my favorite parts of that special, man. Yeah, it was. That was a weird fucking night. I, I hated the whole entire night and the entire show. But uh, it, yeah, so it's funny enough. Dave, Dave, David's <laughs> one of the funniest people on the planet. His special is incredible, but the beginning and then the the. The title card, I guess, would be at the end. Yeah. Really put a fucking nice intro and a nice bow on the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Fellow from St. Louis. Mm. Maybe he'll show up this weekend. Fingers crossed. Yeah. All All right. right. See you guys on Patreon. Later.